California is officially on a new climate. Experts say the proof is this. Heat waves, dry conditions, and another record-setting fire season. Cal Fire and scientists who take the measurements knew that the vegetation was very, very dry. Along the Gulf Coast, Hurricane Ida making landfall as a Category 4. Louisiana's governor categorizing it as one of the strongest storms to make landfall in modern times. We sat down with Stanford's climate expert, Dr. Noah Diffenbaugh, to understand how these extreme weather events affecting opposite sides of the country are ultimately connected. The primary way in which they're connected is that global warming is happening at the global scale, and, and, and so all parts of the world are experiencing that. Research shows global warming is changing the conditions in which hurricanes are happening. The ocean is storing more heat than ever. The heat in the, in the upper layers of the ocean is increasing. That's providing more energy for storms. We're seeing not just uh, stronger storms, but also this rapid intensification of storms. Dr. Diffenbaugh says 90% of the heat that has been added over the last century is in the ocean. He says this is triggering what could be a Category 1 hurricane to intensify and grow into a stronger category. Decades ago, you know, maybe one out of 100 uh, storms would do that, and now we're seeing like a 5% chance. As fires intensify, he says the smoke from fires will create more greenhouse gases, and air quality will continue to worsen. Should we expect that smoke will sit in certain areas for a longer period of time? There is some indication that, that as global warming increases, we could get a more frequent occurrence of these air stagnation events. Dr. Diffenbaugh says the solution is a different energy system and to reduce greenhouse gases fast. Reaching net zero is is really, in terms of our greenhouse gas emissions, is really the only way to stabilize the climate system.